Hello there. Um, Random Terry here. I hope everything's going well for you, everybody. I'm sitting on a stool here, so it might be a different angle. Um, past two videos, I was standing in the kitchen. Even for that short of time, my <laughs> my right foot, the bottom of it started like going numb, <laughs> going to sleep. Uh, probably because I was favoring that foot. So, um, I'm back here with a Timu haul for you. I've got a uh, kind of in a little array of things. Um, so I'm gonna get right into it. One thing that I got was this, um, what do they call it? USB barbecue lighter. I'm gonna do it with a, for a candle. It is, looks like a pen and it's got, I'm gonna take it out of the package because that is, oh, it's a blister pack, good, yeah. And I'm not gonna be able to get it out of this package, am I? I Probably, no oh, fudge. Oh, there we go. Bingo. I got it out. So, <clears throat> this was supposedly in another a haul or a order from Timu, and it. Sorry, I'm trying to look at it to figure out how it works. Maybe I better read the instructions. Good gracious, and I can't read them. Well, we shall see. Okay, back to it now. I was in an order that this was sent separately, probably because it's a lighter, but it's like a flameless lighter. That's the tip of it. Ooh. Um, and it took a while to get to me. So this originally was, let's see, where are we? My lighter, my lighter, my lighter. Where are you, my lighter? I don't think, oh, flameless lighter. It was 648. So the rest of my order got sent to me and my, this was sent separate and it took longer than the rest of it. So they refunded me $5 because it was outside of their shipping time designated that it was supposed to get to me. So I paid Bottom line, $1.48 for this. So, um, I have a candle here. Oh, okay. So this little thing, you slide up and the things come out of the hole. And then you see all the little blue lights come on. Because if it's down, no lights. Slide it up, the lights. And then I'm gonna push that button and we're gonna see if I can light this candle. Ooh, it did. Here's the, see that? Oh, this is cool. And there must be dust in my candle. Ah. God, this smells good. So there is that. It works. And I had a cup of water here in case anything kind of ignited from this. Oh, smelly candle. <laughs> so that's it. And I guess, I guess this is like a safety thing. So this doesn't just push. So you got to have those little tines up and then watch it there. Watch it. So cool. I'm almost tempted to put my finger to see how it feels, but I won't. And I think when I did that, see how the light kind of blinks at you? So saying, hey, you're pushing the button, sort of. So there's that. The other end has the little USB to plug it in and recharge it. But I thought that was so cool. And um, I'm not pushing the button. That is not hot. Maybe just a slight bit warm around the tip, but not, not hot. So I think I'm going to have fun with this for my candles. i got to keep all these USB cords together. So that was my little snippet about that item that came separate. Oh, I just knocked it out of the package again. Okay, then another item I have for you here is, uh, you probably saw about my hair brush heat brush or something I did my hair with it today 
I did part of it and then I turned it off, let it cool the handle and then did it again. And as long as I keep an eye on it, I might be using it because I do like how it works on my hair and it, it's pretty quick too. So I just have to make sure something doesn't ignite with that thing. So this is a hair straightener brush. Ooh, wrong side. Comes in a package. It's a pretty large item too. take all of this out but I will okay cool. now I noticed on the hair brush dryer brush you know how um if you ever seen a hair dryer that you buy here in the states um they have the little the thing that plug the box that plugs into the wall it's like a trip it trips the the electricity if it gets too warm or something these don't have it and neither does that brush. So, yeah, but it does have like a, um, one side is wider than the other side. You know how they have those in the outlets. Okay, so this is a nice little thing. This swivels a little bit better than that hair dryer brush does. You have an on off button and then this one will light up, or not light up, but you have like a, I think it's like an LED or some sort of, um, where you see the degrees in it. And then you can go up or down. Now this is, it almost looks like a comb, but it doesn't, doesn't get in the hair. So what you have to do is get the hair, try to do this on the thing, and then push it down into those things and then smooth the hair out. The one time that I used it, I probably should have used it a little bit more. It made my hair super frizzy. <laughs> so um, I'll probably try to give this another uh, another try. So there is that. And this I paid $11.15 for. Now prices may vary when you go and look at these. Um, if you find them on Timu and you go look at them, the prices are ever-changing it seems like they'll drop with lightning deals they will give you um, deals because I just got one today it says because you searched throws like a throw blanket kind of thing we're giving you this thing this list of items that you can get for cheaper or something so they tend to do that for you if you're a shopper there and you buy things and they give you those deals. So that's, I kind of like that. You have to watch it. And especially things if you have in your cart, don't let it sit too long. Because I did. And I was going to get $20 off. And then my coupon expired. And then I think this morning when I went back, it was not there. And I had to pay all of it. So I took some things out of my cart. And a couple things dropped out of my cart because they sold out. So. Okay. Another thing. I know this is... Um, Find out where it is here. My telescopic kitchen sink drainer. You might have seen these before, hauled by somebody else or some other people. But I mean, it doesn't look real big, but it's pretty nice. Um, okay, I have it tightened. There's a little knob here that you loosen up, and it telescopes out. So that will fit. Go and fit your sink. Now, if you just have it like that and you put it in your sink and you knock it and it goes like that, it'll fall into your sink. So that's why you put it where you want it and then you tighten that and then it won't slip. And this one has um, little holes so you could probably hang it somewhere inside your cabinet or in the drawer or on the wall if you want to. So I'm excited. I wanted to do this haul so I could try this out because I've been trying to I've been psyched, psyched, psyched to do this. So this was, I don't know if I told you, I paid $8.08 for it. And I think when I looked at the website today, it was drastically cheaper than what I paid. Um, like $3 and something or whatever. So that's pretty good. This is plastic around here. This is like a metal. So, and you know, put it over your sink. Put it in one sink. Put your vegetables in it wash your vegetables, put it in here instead of throwing them back in the sink or whatever. And they can drip dry a little bit in there. So that's what I'm kind of excited for. So 
So there is that. Next thing I have here that I don't know if I'm gonna like or not, it is a like a car vacuum cleaner. And I'm not, oh, mm, well, I don't know. Oh, cordless car vac, yeah. It is, it was $18.39 and I think it's a little cheaper now when I looked. Come in this little box. Other side shows white, this side shows black. I forget which one I ordered. So let's open it up and see, and it's not marked. They have the black and white on there and they usually mark it what's inside of it, but this one didn't. So, box is a little bit wonky, kind of coming apart. All right, I'll just pop it open with that. And then inside there, it comes within a bag, just a little plastic bag, and there is little um, pamphlet or whatever that comes with it, and ooh, it looks like I can read some of it. Car vacuum cleaner, yes. And there's picture tutorials, you know, if any of you guys out there, you know, need pictures. Or gals, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just sent my husband a, a picture tutorial about planting something, raspberries. So, because I thought he would learn from that better than trying to read something. It comes with a USB cord, so this is a rechargeable one. Here is the... Stop rolling. The base of it, and okay, there's the charge port back there. And then a little, I guess this is the dirt collection thing. This is, this kind of comes out there. Put that in there. And then, hmm, let's see. Put it there and turn it to lock. So it's a little bit of a turn to lock in. Okay. Nope, that doesn't fit on there. And then it's got this little piece. Yeehaw! slide it in there and then if you you know we don't want to use it just like that okay if you want to use it with a little bit of a brush in your car it just slips over like that so I'm gonna take that off because I want to try something Okay. so right there and oh it is charged okay Pick that up, but that's kind of flimsy. Pick my paper up. Yay! Picks the pamphlet up. It won't pick up the USB cord. Okay. Oh. And it almost picked this up. So that's that. It's sorry if it's loud. It doesn't feel like it's got too much of a vacuum when I put it against my hand, but in the car to get in those little spaces and stuff and get the little brush in there, it's probably strong enough to pick up that kind of stuff. So that I got, and that was $18.39, and I think when I looked on the website today when I was making my little list up, I believe it was cheaper than that, a couple bucks cheaper. So, if you order something from Timu and you go back and you see it being cheaper, you can like click on that order on your list and you can hit the price adjustment, request price adjustment, and as long as it's within 30 days and you only do it once for that item, it will give you the difference in credit back. So, and I've done that and I've gotten a pretty good bit back from them with that, which I think is awesome, especially since they change their prices so much. So there's that, and that box is kind of wonky. Let me put that right there. And where do we go next? Got so many fun things here. So many, well, okay, we're gonna go with these. These are parchment paper, um, trays. I don't know what you call it, but parchment paper. Not, oh, it's stable. Aha. Okay. 
So they are parchment paper, like liners for an air fryer. So they're like that, they're easy to grab out. They came with 50 of them in here. And I bought the square ones because I have an air fryer oven and I did use one. How did I get it out of it? It was stapled. Oh, I think I just slid it out. So these were 50 piece um, air fryer parchments. These were $2.49. So I thought for $2.49, I'm going to give them a try. Now, the one time I tried it in my air fryer oven, what did I put on it? I forget what I put on it, but it was like sitting right in the middle of it. And um, when the air started blowing, the paper kind of went up around it. <laughs> so I had to reposition some things so it wasn't so much in the center. So there are those. And I think I'm going to get good use out of this. And it might keep your... Go away. <laughs> it might keep your air fryer a little bit cleaner, too. Having it lined. Okay. And then something else I'm not going to open up. I'm just kind of letting you get... Well, I will. I want to feel how they are. These are um, vacuum sealer bags, like uh, for food, like, what do they call it? Food savers. I have a food saver, and the bags are extremely expensive. Well, I don't say extremely expensive. You can get them on sale, and they're okay. But these, and I don't know the size hmm, that I got, but they were $5.39 for a roll of bags. You make your own bags. And they feel pretty much like the vacuum like the, I'm not going to take that off of there, but um, it's a pretty good size roll of bags. And I usually go through them and stuff and for $5.39. I bought them. They're useful. True, they don't probably have the, you know, Food Saver branding name on it, but I can't see why they wouldn't work. They feel the same, like they're made out of the same um, type of material. So that's that. I'm gonna put that back in there so it doesn't slide out and get all dirty. Okay, so there is that. And then I'm moving on to some other industrial type, well, useful, not industrial. I'm not gonna open all these up. Okay, so I have a Thistle Crosswave, and I think in my last haul, I hauled one of these, let's open this, I hauled one of these filters for it, these little filters, and it fits right in. This kit came with two of those filters, and two of these brushes, these round brushes, which ooh, I am going to have to see if this will work because these do not look as round and fluffy as the ones that came with my Bissell, which um, I will have to see if they work. There that is. Flat out. I mean, it looks pretty much like it fits in there the same way. And maybe the other ones just, they, when they got wet, they got fluffier. I don't know. I don't think that would happen, but usually they get matted down more. So, and this was, um, let's see how much this was. This will cross with $10.98 for the set for two of these filters and two of these um, rollers. Two filters, two rollers, and I thought there was something else in here. Oh yeah, this lovely thing, like a cleaning brush if you're cleaning. I figured one of these out with something else that I bought that you can get in to clean this out. But this, I was wondering what the heck is that? There's a little, um, a little blade in there. But when you have hair wrapped around a roller and you get this underneath it, you just cut the hair right down the roller and it comes off a lot easier than trying to pull the hair that's wrapped around a roller. This is a handy tool. So, and I have one from something else. So that is for my Bissell Crosswave and I'm sure at $10.98, and I don't know if the price is gonna be the same now, is a deal. 
for, you know, what they would charge me if I got it from the Bissell company. Except Bissell, I think those floor cleaners and stuff they give back um, to pets. Somehow it benefits pets. At least that's what they say on TV. Okay. And then I have like a Dyson stick vacuum. And I bought a battery off of Amazon. And it came with these two filters. Like that filter. For it. Goes on top of the thing. And then the back end. Kind of a filter that screws on the back of the thing. Um, and that's where it came with the other tool. I have one of those from there. But the battery and these two things, I think, were over 20 bucks. So I didn't get a battery, but I got more of these replacement parts because I thought, gee, maybe I should uh, change those out more because I think I had it a couple years and I haven't changed it out. So this was for the Dyson V8 or V7 stick vacuum replacement filters. This was $4.89. So... I'm good with that because I think I was looking at the original Dyson things and oh, looking for that battery. It was a lot. It was more than a couple years. I've had it because it was a good many years because the battery wore out. And then I have just, I think, a couple more things left here to show you. And I don't think I'm going to, oh, this is a Ziploc bag. So I will. So. I got a, like a iRobot Roomba for Christmas this last year and I was looking at all the things and there's like replacement parts for it and I'm going, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to buy all these things. Well, I got this, I think it's like a 20 piece replacement part for $22.98. Okay. It comes with a little squirrely, the little brushes that brushes the dirt into the um, thing. There's like four of those replacement. There are two sets of the rollers on the bottom. Oh, it's not a Ziploc bag. Yeah, they look like it. They're square on one end and like hexagon on the other. Okay. There are oh, a little Phillips screwdriver. And, oh, there's eight of these. There's four more. Turn the bag over. Eight of those. Two sets of the rollers. One, two, three, four. So there's eight of these filters. And I'm not quite sure where they go on my Roomba. I'm going to have to look. Investigate that a little bit more. So for what, 20 pieces, that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 20 pieces, yeah, 22 pieces if you consider the brush for cleaning and that. Maybe the set of rollers is considered one. A little brush for cleaning and the little screwdriver, all in a handy dandy little bag. I thought that was pretty good for 22 bucks. Look at these look like a bunch of little spiders on my table. And I'm not going to try to get them back in the bag just yet. So there's that. And I thought that was a good deal too. Um, let's see. Where else? I bought a heart decor crossbody bag. And I looked at it and it was pretty on the thing. And I bought this for... $2.15 because I think the price dropped on it and I got the uh, replacement. So this is the bag and it is pretty, it's kind of soft. The zipper on the top, there is a zipper pocket inside. A zipper pocket, this one on the front though is just very small. I don't know what you'd put in there. A toothpick? I don't know. Um, Another one here. That's a better size. And this one on the front. Oh, that's a zipper underneath that, too. Nice. Oh, come on. Unzipped it. This one 
Oh, this one comes all the way down too. That might be good for like a cell phone or something if you're apt to carry it in your purse. So this I thought was really pretty and it was showing the bag and the handle was kind of up out of the way and all the other bags had the like pleather whatever handles. This one came with this handle. Oh, and there's another zipper on the back. Um, but that's real cute. It's a good size. <laughs> and that's what it says. <laughs> Dois. Good God, I can't even read that. Dois Glurf and Gabrababa. Gabrababa. Who are they trying to imitate? So I'm not real happy with that being on there. And if I could turn it around somehow, I would. But that's blatantly being a knockoff, I guess. I just bought it because the bag was cute, not because it was supposed to be a knockoff of something. But it is, it's like really soft and it's nice. And, you know, maybe I'll find a different, now I can, I'm going to be able to take that off. It's kind of sewn in. But I could, I could fix it. I can take that stitch out and I can turn this puppy around if I want to. So there's that bag, but it is cute. And it's a nice, I like the wide strap of it, like a web strap. So that, that was it. And I thought that was kind of a cute, i hold it still for you so you can see it. Like I said, that was two fifteen, so it's probably a little bit more. I think it's probably six bucks now. I'm sorry, that was loud. So, yeah. That's my haul for today. I'm going to get all this stuff put away. If you like my channel, if you like seeing this kind of stuff, uh, subscribe, stick around, give me a thumbs up, share the video. I don't know why you would, but, you know, you could. <laughs> um, and that's my video for you for tonight. It's in the evening. That's why the lighting is probably a little bit different. A little weird. Um, yeah, I'm going to get this stuff put away. And until next time, bye!